Hi there, and welcome to Physical Education. My name is Gareth Fry. I'm Acting Head of Department. Um, at the moment, Brian Robinson, who's been here for a long time, is on a two-year sabbatical. Um, so I'm head of a, a very uh, elite team. Um, Mr. John McKinney, Damien Stiles, Stephen Collier, Johnny Cupid, John Crichton, all um, outstanding teachers in their own right, and also um, leading members of the school sports teams who are organising rugby, hockey, cricket, athletics, things as well. They are also very high uh, pastoral members of the school, um, year heads and head of houses. Um, we are also very ably assisted by Mr Robin Gordon and Mr Ron Fullerton, who are swimming and gym uh, managers. Uh, and They do a lot of work, with, especially with our A-level boys as well, in terms of sports science. Um, so that gives you a bit of a heads up of who, who we're dealing with. Um, I want to talk a little bit now about the allocation of PE. We are quite unique in, in Northern Ireland that we have two games days for every year group, um, as well as a, a, a curriculum based PE class. So we get three hours within the school curriculum of PE per week. That's for Key Stage 3. Key Stage 4 drops down to two and a half hours, and Key Stage 2 is still at two hours. So there's uh, a lot um, of activity within the school curriculum and we, we see this as very important, not just uh, at the elite level of trying to promote you know, outstanding individuals and teams, but also sort of the, the really, um, I suppose you would talk about the health and the fitness idea that with obesity and other issues being so rife in, in our environment at the moment, it's very important that we promote this from, uh, from an early level and right through to year 14. Um, so, as a lot of schools during lockdown, um, we find that the boys were, were suffering a little bit from a lack of exercise and a lack of being with their friends. We, um, through Mr Fulton, as I mentioned, the, the gym manager, we put a lot of online effort into uh, recording videos and, and workouts that boys could do. Um, pretty interactive, they, they sent us back videos of them doing it and, and we really got a, a bit of a buzz from watching them you know, doing that from their own home. And whilst it's not as good as being in school, we think that it was very successful. Um, it's very important, I think, this, this well-being and the mental health aspect of, of sport. Um, we saw that a lot through being able to use the gym and, and, and different activities. Um, on the back of that as well, uh, the teamwork um, and the camaraderie that boys can get through the team sports that they play also has a massive social and, well, uh, and mental uh, health aspect. Um, we really like to promote that as well, that sense of, sense of team and belonging, and that's a very strong part of the, the college. Within, uh, within PE itself, um, the pupils will, will study gymnastics, football, basketball, volleyball, uh, swimming, orienteering, um, racket sports. We try and give them a, a huge range of activities. We think it's very important that um, not everybody's going to be a rugby player or a hockey player. Um, although team sports are a big part of school, um, we also think it's important that individual sports are, are looked at. Fitness plays a big role as well. I already mentioned about just you know the, our environment we live in and, and try to keep people more active. But um, we, we find that a lot of uh, boys, as they get older, really enjoy training themselves and they work with, with Ron, who I talked about earlier in the gym, and they see that as a really good progression and it links a good life skill to move on with. Um, we have a multitude of other sports that uh, are extracurricular, um, and you can see a lot, a lot of these on our web page. My shoulders do that. Okay, but then I'm going back and take my shoulders forward, right and try to hit Turn that hip moving, yeah.
right. Come on, Bob. Good. Yeah, it's Robert Ryan there next to you. Okay, so at the moment, press will get lovely kick back, okay? So let's try and get a longer pass, give him a wee bit more time, okay? Give him a bit of pressure. Academic PE has become more and more important over the last sort of, 15 to 20 years. We introduced GCSE PE um, 24 years ago, I think it was, and it started off very small, a class of uh, about 10 boys. This has risen now to, we have six GCSE classes, so there's over 100 boys now um, taking part in GCSE. Um, so uh, with the success of that growing, we found we had to have a pathway for those boys to follow on uh, and naturally went into AS uh, and A2 PE, um, which has now changed to sports science and active leisure. Um, this has been very successful and we have a lot of boys still going through that path. Um, alongside that, we had a leisure studies BTEC class that ran for a number of years. That was unfortunately stopped by uh, the BTEC authorities, but we um, then took up the sports BTEC and we now have two courses running with that with an extended certificate, which is 1A level uh, equivalent, and a diploma, which is 2A level equivalent. So we now have those three courses running alongside, so there, there is a, a huge pathway for boys to follow after GCSE. Um, the difference, I suppose, between BTEC and A-Level, I get asked that quite a lot. Um, they're both worth the same in terms of university and going to, to uh, degree courses, um, but I suppose the BTEC would be a much more vocational qualification. It's probably not quite as academic, it's more coursework based. Um, and to work on your own and research and come up with ideas uh, and teachers become more of facilitators rather than the actual old-fashioned teacher which we would still do in the A-level side of things. Uh, as part of the A-level and the AS, uh, the pupils have to do quite a large coursework block. Um, the coursework at AS is a fitness trainer uh, and they take a, a client which is one of their uh, fellow classmates and they have to work out a program um, in the gym, outside, wherever it might be, and that, that can last up to 12 weeks. So we find that's a really good life skill, and a lot of them have followed on to become personal trainers, and that's a very important pathway for them to follow. Um, at A2, they have to uh, arrange an event. Um, this could be something as, as basic as a, a house football competition, but um, Mr. Stiles has run that uh, in the school for a long time and he has put a lot of time and effort um, into some massively uh, beneficial uh, organisation um, and these would be things like we've done colour runs, Santa runs, Zorb football, uh, there's a num numerous things and raised a lot of money for charity along the way um, I think the boys will talk a little bit more about that.